and at the same time, I, they had some reviews. They, they have reviews on all their equipment. And I looked at one of the reviews, and I noticed that some other people were having trouble with this valve. So anyway, make a long story short, they sent me out another valve, no questions asked. Um, in fact, this is a replacement valve here. But in the meantime, I thought, you know, they sent me this valve again. I don't know if that's, that thing might leak too. So being the, I don't know what you call it, overly uh, equipped type of person, I went to, up to my local brewery store and <laughs> I went and made my own valve. Here it is right here, you know. It's a brass uh, ball valve. It's got the, you know, brass hookups and nipples and, and uh, got a little bit bigger hose, but it doesn't leak. The thing is, you know, I guess my point is, you know, you buy an entry-level kit, uh, you know, you're going to get what you pay for. I mean, like I said, this is a $3.50 piece of equipment. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not the greatest. I'm sure a lot of them don't, don't leak. But the, the whole thing is... Uh, I guess the point of my my whole deal here is, you know, don't don't bash you know bash a company just because you know you get something that's defective. Get a hold of them, give them a chance to you know to replace it. The, the whole thing is with the Cooper's Cooper's Brewery in Australia, they're 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 a first class operation. I mean, they're they're fifth or sixth generation family. Uh, I just did a little research on them. I'm not a I don't represent Cooper's. But, um, you know, they bottle condition their, their beer that they send out to the grocery stores. That's all bottle condition, conditioned beer. It's like homebrew. And, and they decided to go into a market where they're going to do a, you know, do these kits for the guy at home to do. And, uh, you know, so they've got a place in their, in their, uh, in the beer industry. And I think they're doing a pretty good job. So, hey, take it easy on the Coopers. Easy on the Cooper's kits. There's nothing wrong. With them. Um, anyway, I think I might. Uh, I got a couple other videos I'm gonna do on sanitation for one. I had a couple issues there I like to address, and I was gonna do well. I'm waiting for that stout to get going. I mean, it's 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 only been in the bottle a couple weeks, but I think it's ready. I think I'm gonna have to do it. So, oh, there is one other thing. Uh, I was going to tell you, with uh, Midwest, I really like these guys. My last order, they sent me this. It says, celebrate. You got little letters up there. It has Miklo. Yeah, it's no big deal. But this thing holds 12 ounces perfectly. Um, it's just a freebie. You know, they just sent it. Didn't say anything. Just sent it with my order. It's all wrapped up real nice. So I thought, you know, that that's that's a nice gesture. So they, you know, they've won they've won me over. Um, and uh, just for you brewers out there that are checking things out, this is their catalog. Like I said, I don't represent Midwest Midwest Supplies, but uh, here's their catalog. It's like 87 pages. And. Uh, I'll tell you what, I should have bought my Irish Stout from these guys because they're only 25 bucks, complete kit. They've got all grain. They've got partial mash, mini mash, uh, kegging equipment. Uh, you know, go on their website, check them out, MidwestSupplies.com. Yeah, out of Minnesota. So, and you know, I'm in Washington. They shipped all my stuff for 10 bucks. I mean, FedEx right to my front door. Boom, I'm ready, ready to go. So anyway, uh, you can, I already showed this in my last video, but got my light Scottish Ale going here. It's just darn near done fermenting. Uh, that, well, I was going to say, I think I'm just about up on my uh, time. So I'm going to cut this off. You guys have a good time brewing. Be careful out there. You do drink your brew, stay home, don't drink and drive, be safe. See you later.